It was a big development today in the federal prosecution of a Jackson lawmaker. Yeah, State Representative Earl Banks pleaded guilty to one charge of a felony tax crime in federal court. 12 News' Richard Lake was in that courtroom. And Richard, what can you tell us? Right. Well, Representative Banks pled guilty to willfully making a false statement on his federal income taxes as part of a plea agreement with the U.S. government. Banks failed to report $582,000 he earned through the sale of property owned by his family. This felony carries a penalty of up to three years in prison, a $250,000 fine, and one year of supervised release. Judge Carlton Reeves said in court that this conviction may lead to Banks being unfit to hold public office, but according to Banks' attorney, Rob McDuff, the Mississippi Constitution protects members of the legislature found guilty of tax felonies. Mr. Banks has been cooperating with the U.S. Attorney's Office, and today he had an opportunity to speak directly to the judge and admit that he made a mistake in failing to report on his tax return the income from the sale of this land that had been in his family for a long time. Section 44 of the Constitution states that um, a person does not have to leave the legislature if they're convicted of a tax crime. Okay, so, but in this case, Judge Reeves said that that's still a possibility? It, it, no, well, I think he was, I think Judge Reeves was not aware of that specific provision. That's why he used the word may. So I just think it's something he hasn't looked at because that's not, that's not an issue that's before him. Sentencing is currently under seal and a sentencing hearing is set for August 21st at 2 p.m. And by pleading guilty today, Representative Banks avoided a trial, but the government laid out some of the evidence they had against him. Plaintiffs shared in court that Banks opened a bank account in his mother's name the day before receiving the $582,000 and depositing that money in said bank account. Plaintiffs also shared today that Banks spent $515,000 on the Autumn Woods Cemetery he owns and operates here in Jackson. For now, it's from Richard Lake reporting live from Jackson for 12 News.